I'd already jerry-rigged the horn. I had no other reason to rummage around under the hood. I decided to give it another blast. For crying out loud, will you leave my van alone? Sorry, uh, just need a quick word, Mr. Hobbs. Afternoon, Mr. Hobbs. We're from the model agency. About blooming time. I'm on a deadline. You better come up. About time you two showed up. Hello, Mr. Hobbs. I was just wondering if... Uh, 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 can it, Goldilocks? I don't have time for chit-chat. Just get undressed behind that screen. Undressed? That was the deal. An extra 20 quid, cos I need you with your kit up. The studio was freezing. And as for you, darling, no need to get undressed. I've got a vivid imagination, so I'll just use that. Either way, just go sit over there on that rug and give me your best belly pock floozy. That's perfect. Just hold it there. Nico made for a good distraction. I just needed to figure out how to get a look inside that portfolio. A variety of liquor bottles, all empty. A variety of liquor bottles, all empty. Excuse me, Mr. Hobbs. Oh, what do you want? You're supposed to be sprawled naked on that rug with the family jewels out. Yeah, well, um, about that. Could I just ask you a couple of questions first? Blow me. A model who's shy and chatty. It must be my birthday. Yeah, about this naked sprawling... Oh, what's up? Afraid of the shrinking effects of a cold warehouse? No, it's just... First time? A little embarrassed? Well, if it helps, we can all get naked. No, definitely not. Well then, what are you waiting for? Let the monkey see the nuts! We had a saying in the Stobart family. If a job's worth doing, then do it with your pants on. But I thought you were a restorer, but you're working on this painting from scratch. Well, yeah. Look, some clients uh, want a painting that they don't own, restored from scratch, if you know what I mean. Uh, no, I don't. Don't worry, sunshine. Ignorance is bliss. I hear you did the restoration of that painting that got stolen recently in Paris? I might have. It's a fine piece. You can smell the pain in every brushstroke. Do you know a Russian called Madovsky? You know Madovsky? Everyone in the London art scene knows Madovsky. And everyone in the London art scene who likes their kneecaps knows when to keep their trap shut.
Excuse me, Mr. Hobbs. What now? How about a top up, Mr. Hobbs? Thanks, but I've already got a glass full. I didn't need to sit. It was time for action. I wasn't going to mess around with that wiring. The thermostat looked older than the building itself. Hey! Leave that dial alone. The heating gobbles up all the power and the circuits can't take it. Sorry. I turned the thermostat down again. Excuse me, Mr. Hobbs. What now? I have a letter for you, Mr. Hobbs. From the model agency? Bane in my life, models. Speaking of which, why have you still got your clothes on? Mr. Hobbs, this whole nudity thing... Keep the extra 20 pounds. If it's all right with you, I'd rather not do it. Pal, this painting demands flesh, and that is what I am going to get. Now, one way or another, your rosy cheeks are getting onto this canvas. This was going nowhere. I had to keep stalling him until I could take a look inside that portfolio. The painting is looking good. It would look even better if you took your kit off and got into position. Tell me more about La Maladec Seal. Why all the interest in that picture? We're not at the Slade now, Sonny Jim. Showing that to Hobbs wasn't going to get me anywhere. How about another whiskey? Thanks, but I've already got a glass full. Hey, I'm still drinking that. It was a full glass of whiskey. Hobbs had loosely sketched a young couple and an elderly lady sitting next to an overturned picnic basket. The three characters were naked. Behind them, two men in suits were chatting. Hey, I'm still drinking that. Hey, I'm still drinking that. Oh, you! Get down from there, it's private! Oh, sorry!
Wow, an old Boffson Wang stereo. I hadn't seen one of those for years. The stereo was switched off. Adjusting the volume wasn't going to make any difference. I turned the volume up a few notches. I turned the volume down again. I turned the volume up a few notches. I'd seem to have a phone of 70 psychedelic channels. Oh, road, cruising down a highway. So sweet, she got my head in a spin. This big, do you think it's going my way? Stop the car, I want to get in. Hey! I've told you, don't mess with that thermostat. Excuse me, Mr. Hobbs. What now? The painting is looking good. It would look even better if you took your kit off and got into position. How about another whiskey? Oh, not bad if I do. My, my, it is George Stobart. Lady Piermont. Oh, my, you're naked, of course. As an artist's muse, one often finds oneself on the lotus. Now, George, don't be shy. Come here and give me a big hug. That day was the day the night comes at the end. Tramped, smothered, choking on lavender. Uh, George, darling, pass me my robe. It's terribly cold in here. Oi, what are you doing with a blooming robe on? God help me, but you're supposed to be naked. I've got a deadline to meet. Well, you won't be meeting any deadlines with manners like that. And besides, it's freezing in here. Lady Piermont and I have met before. She was larger than life in every way. It was a shaky old elevator that would once have lifted goods between the floors. Stop meddling with that. The power's ropey enough as it is. Blowing the power would certainly have distracted Hobbs. But the elevator alone wasn't going to trip the whole system. It was a shaky old elevator that would once have lifted goods between the floors.
Lady Kiermaier. Oh, George, be a darling and sort the heating out in here. I'll see what I can do. It was Lady Piermont. We'd met before. Uh, George, sweetheart, could you do something about the heating in this place? Hey, stop meddling with that. The power's ropey enough as it is. The elevator on its own wasn't going to blow the power. Hey, stop meddling with that. The power's ropey enough as it is. The elevator on its own wasn't going to blow the power. George, sweetheart, could you do something about the heating in this place? with that thermostat. Sorry, but Lady Piermont is cold. I thought... Look, pal, I know it's brass monkeys in here, but the wiring in this building is ancient, and the fuse box won't take it. Her Majesty will just have to get used to chapel hat pegs. Lady Piermont, Mr. Hobbs won't let me turn up the heating. Well, we'll soon see about that. Oh, if you do not adjust the heating, I shall refuse to cooperate. Let it be on. It's the circuits. They won't take the strain. You know what all buildings are like. In which case, I see no reason for this session to continue. Whoa, Lady Piermont, let's not be too hasty. I'm sure I can accommodate your needs. Good. Perhaps we can start by letting George here turn up the heating. Oh, oh go ahead then, but be careful. The power in here is uh, temperamental. I'd turn the thermostat up as far as it would go. I wondered if the suspicious wiring could be used to my advantage. A word if I may, Lady Piermont. For you, George, I'm all ears. How can I help? Lady Piermont, we need your help. How thrilling! What do you need? Subterfuge, pleasure domain. Um, actually, I just need you to step on that lift behind you. Oh, but of course. Is this good, George, darling? Perfect. Now, just stay right there.
Now was my chance. Hobbs was good, but no way was he going to sketch me in the nude. More of Hobbs sketches. Impressionist sketches. Well, it wasn't La Maledicio. But it did appear to be a study for an element of the painting, the Ouroboros. There was something different about the image in the center. I figured the sketch might come in handy, so I took it. What the heck? I told you that portfolio was private. Huh? Well, that was fun. Just like when you were a private dick, George. So, you're not models? No, Mr. Hobbs. Well, you can't be a copper. You're not stupid enough. So what the blazes are you doing in my studio? We're investigating the theft of La Maledicio. I told you, I just restored it. That's what I do. Restore paintings. And these sketches? Studies done during the restoration. Nothing more. I've got now to do with what happened after that painting left this studio. How was I to know it was going to get Henri killed? Hang on a second. How do you know Henri's dead? Look, he and I went back a long way. Le Lézard Bleu was on the rope, so I got the painting into his exhibition. Nothing like this was supposed to happen. But something did happen, Hobbs. Your friend lost his life. Look, I'll help you however I can, but this mess is way above my pay grade. What do you want to know? How come you needed to make so many sketches of the painting to restore it? Restoration is not about throwing a lot of paint around. It, it takes research. The surf is a complicated painting. A lot of subtext. A lot of symbols. Tell me about the symbols in La Maledizio. Very Christian, deeply religious, but not exactly orthodox. The sort of thing that would upset a priest? There was one at the gallery telling everyone how evil it was. As I said, it's not exactly orthodox, and the church can be very touchy about orthodoxy. Especially now they can't just burn anyone they disagree with. We have reason to believe that Madovsky is mixed up in the theft of La Maledicio. Eh? <laughs> what would he gain from stealing his own painting? We have strong evidence that Madovsky is not the real owner. He'll have a hard time proving that. Madovsky has a full set of providences for the painting. It traces its legitimate ownership all the way back to the painter. Why didn't Madovsky mention it? Because they're not with him. Henri's got them. Or had them. And Henri is dead. So ask his partner. Lane? Lane, yeah, Lane. Look, pal, you're wasting your time looking for conspiracies here. And you're wasting my time if you're not actually going to get naked. Go get the provenance from Lane, and everything will turn out hunky-dory. But it also puts Marquez's story into question. Not my problem, darling. Now both of you get lost. I've got a painting to finish.
and we have a critic to interrogate.